Hey there, movie buffs and cinephiles! Welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got a thrilling and action-packed video lined up for you as we dive into a head-to-head -head comparison of two of the biggest blockbuster movies of recent times. We'll be putting these cinematic giants against each other in a battle of epic proportions. So grab your popcorn, settle into your favorite chair, and let's get started. The dual release of Greta Gerwig's Barbie and Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer on July 21 has restored the box office to its pre-COVID glory, and the effects have been felt around the world. To date, Barbie, a comedy starring Margot Robbie as the iconic doll who goes through an existential crisis, has crossed the $1 billion mark worldwide, making Gerwig the first solo female director to do so. But Oppenheimer, in which Cillian Murphy portrays the father of the atomic bomb, has also stood its ground, making over $602 million globally, an amazing feat for a three-hour-long film based on a historical figure. As both Barbie and Oppenheimer head into their fourth weekends of release, below is a breakdown of how the movies have performed so far in the world's biggest markets, using industry estimates and data from Box Office Mojo. Barbie has dominated the box office in the United States and Canada, making over $485.4 million as of August 9. Oppenheimer has made almost exactly half of that just before its fourth weekend of release, coming in at $245.5 million. After three weekends, Barbie has grossed $87.5 million and Oppenheimer $53.4 million in the UK. Barbie has also been received better in Mexico, where it has grossed over $48.9 million to date. However, it has recently been overtaken by Meg 2 on the box office charts. Oppenheimer, on the other hand, has made around $15.4 million to date. The release of Barbie and Oppenheimer in synchronized fashion on July 20 led to Australia's biggest cinema weekend since the pandemic. Both have continued strongly into their third week. Barbie has passed 60 million Australian dollars, $41.1 million, making it the top film of the year to date and Warner Bros. highest grossing film ever in the market. Oppenheimer has a more than respectable $19.3 million. It's been a tighter race between Barbie and Oppenheimer in Germany. Barbie has earned $34 million in the country since its release, with Oppenheimer just behind with more than $28.5 million. Barbie fever has also reached France, with Gerwig's film grossing $29.3 million so far. However, the French, who tend to appreciate darker films than the average moviegoer, are also enjoying Oppenheimer, making it a close second with over $26.5 million earned in the country as of last weekend. Barbie reigns in Spain and has made $26 million in the country, topping the box office charts until last weekend's release of Meg 2. To date, Oppenheimer has grossed a similarly impressive $14.4 million. It's been neck and neck in the Netherlands for Barbie and Oppenheimer, with Barbie earning $12.3 million so far and Oppenheimer taking in $13 million. But Oppenheimer has topped the box office charts for the past couple of weeks. Barbie has highly outperformed Oppenheimer in Brazil, earning $39.5 million in the country as of August 7, while Oppenheimer has picked up only $10.3 million. Hong Kong, a market where Hollywood and local Cantonese films are typically the biggest draws, got Barbenheimer on July 20, like Australia, but had a different reaction. Oppenheimer has reached $6.9 million, while Barbie's cultural references have not fully resonated. It has $3.67 million to date. 
India is perhaps the biggest market where Oppenheimer has outgrossed Barbie. Oppenheimer has $17 million in India. Barbie estimates place the India gross at $5.8 million. Though Barbie has made more than Oppenheimer in Poland, having earned $10.9 million so far, Oppenheimer has made $7.1 million in Poland thus far. Colombia has embraced Barbie, which has earned $8.5 million in the country so far. Oppenheimer has made $2.67 million as of last weekend. Barbie took off in New Zealand, topping the box office charts for all three weekends of its release and grossing over $6.2 million so far. Oppenheimer has also done well, though it has only earned roughly half of Barbie's total, making $2.9 million in the country so far. Oppenheimer is outperforming Barbie in Turkey, earning $5.2 million to date, compared to Barbie's $3.19 million, though Barbie debuted on top with a $1.5 million opening. Oppenheimer has held the no one spot on the box office charts for the past two weekends. And that's a wrap on our blockbuster movie comparison, folks. Don't forget to hit the notification bell button to be updated on our new feature videos. Comment down below if you want us to tackle more blockbuster movie comparisons. Catch you in the next video. Until then, keep watching, keep discussing, and keep loving those movies. See you at the movies, movie buffs. If you like this type of content, you may also check our other videos, Japanese versus China mythology, and 10 essential cross-cultural etiquettes. Links are provided on the screen. See you on the next videos.